you wouldn't have been doing this, what would you be doing? Law. Mm. That was my second or my first. I was torn in between becoming a lawyer and becoming an engineer. Uh, Obibus was founded uh, 2018 yes. uh, and now from 2018 till now should be four years, three, four years, yeah. Mm -hmm. Obibus is all about uh, uh, green energy and it's about creating impact in Africa one vehicle at a time. Uh, we started with the safari industry. We were doing a safari uh, conversion from uh, fossil fuel to electric and now we are moving to public transport, uh, converting the buses uh, from uh, fossil fuel as well to electric. And you, as you saw on the other side we have electric bikes. We convert the normal border border to electric. And we also do uh, solar panels, so we do uh, solar installation to most of the customers that want uh, uh, solar energy. So yeah. Uh, there's so much advantage of, of electric car versus a fuel uh, because uh, with the electric car you get to save a lot. Okay, the initial car cost of conversion is quite high, but uh, in the long run you'll get a return on investment because there's no much maintenance that you do, the service that you normally do after every three months. There's no much oil to replace in, in this kind of uh, electric car, so you save a lot when it comes to maintenance and service. And uh, again, you get to be part of the bigger change in the world to create impact to save the planet from uh, carbon footprints. Uh, assembly process should take uh, two weeks if everything is uh, in stock, yes. And uh, that uh, entails from the whole process of disassembly from the fossil drivetrain to uh, converting it to electric. Uh, the, for an electric car, it's basically about uh, a battery system. Uh, the motor, which is uh, basically what uh, is driving the vehicle, and the controller. So you have to have, uh, the motor is coupled to the transfer case, so how, that's uh, how our uh, motion is driven from uh, the motor to the transfer case, to the propeller and to the wheels. And uh, uh, the motor gets the power from the batteries, and uh, the controller is basically the brain. We do both. Uh, there are those cars that we've bought and uh, sold the car after conversion to the customers and there are most of those that we've done, the customer brings in their, uh, their old vehicle and we re give it a new life basically by putting in electric new life. life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, people are really embracing it, especially when it comes to bikes. Uh, we've, we, ha we have quite a number of electric bikes in Kisomo and, and Bita. So, uh, the drivers over there are really impressed with the electric bike as opposed to the fossil one because they make a lot of profit from it. If you only have to change maybe two batteries per day and you, which maybe to swap a battery costs them 70 shillings. If you swap two times it's on 40 and you get to do the same number of trips as the one with the, with the fossil. So you end up making a lot of profit from it and the customers as well like it because it's quiet, it doesn't make any noise. Oh, picky picky are quite faster. Uh, you just need to disassemble the engine and you put. Uh, we don't um, modify any of the mounts and such. So a picky picky should take two days to convert. We like it old because <laughs> when uh, you bring in your old vehicles, it means that there is no much uh, garbage waste for old vehicles out there. 
so we end up giving new life to the existing vehicles out there so we are creating solution instead of coming up with new cars and the old cars are still there so it's a lot of crowd uh, taking place so with the old car uh, once it's, it's in the workshop we take a, after this assembly process we start our dimensioning so we come up with, a, uh, with a, the sizes how we want to size the vehicle uh, for, according to the customer how much kilometer do you want to achieve and uh, what is the charging time that you anticipate and then after sizing then that's when we come to design part of it to design our battery boxes and how we're going to fasten everything in place. Hybrid is uh, more of, uh, it's uh, electric and as, as well as fossil okay. and uh, electric is purely electric, there's no fossil. Uh, I think it's time uh, people should start embracing, the entire world is already moving to electric, the rest of the world is looking into facing out fossil vehicles from, uh, from 20, uh, 20, 2025, we shouldn't be having more electric cars and already we have, uh, like in Norway, half of the cars rolling in the streets are electric. So if you still have the fossil fuel mentality, you'll be left out. They I think uh, people should already take uh, that initiative because the train has already left the station. Uh, Opibus is a Swedish company, so they started the conversion process in their company in Sweden and then they decided to move to Africa to, be, uh, to start a new branch over here. So we are basically now in Kenya and uh, we have a sister company as well in uh, France. Achievement, I think we are already creating an impact. We are the first company in Kenya so far to do electric vehicles and uh, basically converting the conversion from fossil to electric because other companies are just importing, you know, uh, ready-made electric cars. Uh, when we started, we were quite a few. I think we were, uh, when I came in, we were, I think 18 of us. So uh, by then you were all rounded. I mean, I could come and weld as well as come and uh, do wearing. I was all rounded to everything. But with time, as we are growing, we are increasing numbers and uh, we are getting to specialize more. So you specialize more on a certain uh, field or a certain area other than being all round. And that way, uh, production lines uh, go smoothly. And so at the moment, we are more than 70. There's uh, the R&D team and then there's the, uh, the R&D team is the one involved in research and as well as uh, designs and then the production line which I'm in to do the assembly process and the test and we have a support team as well that does all the field support in case we have any technical issue in the field. We will of course have the finance and uh, the support, yeah, all those other. Uh, for Safari camps, uh, most of the camps uh, that we convert their vehicle to electric are running purely by solar off-grid so we do installation of solar system as well so we install the solar system where they can charge their vehicle as well as run it for their daily utility of the camp uh, so we provide solution to that and uh, moving to public transport is because yes uh, safari industries uh, safari industry was a big it uh, was a good start point for us because these are the people that are concerned more concerned about carbon footprint those are the people that will pitch a conversation about carbon footprint and they listen. For a common one, if I start telling them about pollution and carbon footprint, they won't really pay attention until I start talking about figures. How much profit am I going to make out of it? And uh, is it making any economic sense to me? And that's why we are moving to public transport, because it makes more financial sense to them as opposed to personal vehicles. We install as well charging station. Uh, once we deliver a vehicle, we deliver together with a charging station. So install a charging port for you, so you can charge your vehicle and you're not having any difficulties. Uh, I think everything, uh, all the products are being embraced. Safari was embraced perfectly in the safari industry. Bikes are. Uh, the customers and the border border riders are so happy about them and soon the matatu will be rolling in our streets and uh, everyone will be running for the electric bus. 